going to make it short with a uh, better explanation. So, let us see. Diversity. What is it? As human beings, so we need to observe that closely. We are not like the book. Let us take an example. Okay? If I go to the library and I want to have a book, I would be sure that everybody will have the same type of book. But human beings, we are all different. Different in nature, different in all aspects. Even if we are twins, our fingerprint won't be the same. Let's say diversity is, uh, I can call it a type of riches that we have inside of an organization. So, we distinguish two levels, surface level diversity and the deep level diversity. Everything that you can see in depth, it is in depth. I'm sure you're tall, you're big and thin, so it's observable. Everybody can see it rapidly. So, let us get deeper, okay? You will see the feeling, the qualification, all the inside aspect of the person that requires time to understand and to appreciate. That's why we put it in the category of deep level diversity. But for any organization, <coughs> so we need to try to balance, okay? Deep level diversity and uh, surface level diversity. It's depend exactly on the objective. Let us see. Suppose that we have a team, okay? We have a basketball team. I'm not going to play like. I'm not going to defend. I'm not. I cannot be. Uh, I can see someone who is going to take the rebound. No, too short. In that case, an OB manager should uh, face directly on the fact of surface level diversity. Because we need someone who is very tall just to take all the rebound. Let us go uh, further. Okay? Suppose we have the same talent. Someone is going to drive the ball. So you don't need to be tall. So at that case, anybody can do it. Simply take the ball and move with it and throw it into the basket. So everybody can do it. At that time, you will see in the same case of diversity, you'll face probably on the surface and in the deep level diversity. And I can call it a certain riches for the organization. Let's take uh, the deep level diversity. As I told you a minute ago, we are not the same. My motivation cannot be the same as yours. I can be a good leader. But you, you're not. But you have other uh, ability, okay, technical ability that you can develop. So let's try to put all those things together and balance them. I guess that can be the very source for any organization, for any OB manager, okay, to make the organization go further. Let's see. We have two pictures right here. This one, you don't know what is inside of it. We have a big question mark. Big question mark. Colorful. Okay? You come and you see this one is beautiful. If you judge it and you don't try to identify what we have inside of it, you might be mistaken. Here we have some surface uh, qualification. Like someone is, I can say beautiful. You see, this is beautiful. Inside of it, we have can. Uh, let, excuse me for the expression, some rubbish. But right here we have diamond. If you don't go deeper to identify what we have inside of it, okay, probably you'll miss the board, okay, to give a good orientation to your organization. And that's why we come with these two terms. How to be successful. Don't judge the book by its cover. Try to go deeper instead of going to the surface. Thank you.